Hello guys, welcome back to the garage. And I'm bringing you in on what I got working here today. So this here is Pete's Victor Jr. intake for 302. It's from his car. And we spoke in the past about how it, has, how it had this nice, or not very nice, big old crack here run through this uh, threaded fitting that I got to deal with. So, or what I got to do with this is I'm going to use a nice aluminum fluted cutter. I'm going to grind out all this crack as much as I can see. So I already sand or bead blasted this in the cabinet. Bead blasted in and out around this housing here to get all the uh, the crusty, you know, dried up antifreeze and corrosion and stuff out of there. So it's because welding cast aluminum is going to be uh, pretty nasty stuff. So all that's, those contaminants are going to want to get into the weld and make it horrible. I mean, I'm not expecting this to go easy, but uh, <laughs> we're going to try to save it because this is a. Uh, I, mean, I don't know if you looked lately on like summer racing or anything, but these are not cheap intake manifolds anymore. This thing's like four hundred and thirty some dollars for this to replace it. So I don't know if sending this off to like a professional welder would would get any better results. But uh, you know, I got my my TIG welder here. I've had actually, probably over ten years now, but it's got me out of a lot of jams, and I'm never gonna get any better if I don't practice on stuff like this so uh, I've done a couple things on aluminum and uh, we'll see how it goes I did uh, came the other day I had buy a tap so I didn't have one this big so when it's all said and done I gotta grind it down finish it off run the tap through it and hopefully it'll be a solid repair and now get Pete back in action so uh, yeah but we do have plan B. <laughs> so plan B, you guys know I went to, uh, check my previous video, I went to a swap meet last weekend and uh, I only got one thing at the swap meet that I found, thought was a good deal. And that is coincidentally, <laughs> amazingly coincidentally right here. So this is in the box, brand new, <laughs> another 302 victor jr intake so let's bring the light on here <laughs> i just thought it was an amazing coincidence i mean still in the box but i mean it didn't have the gaskets i mean like come on like you kind of got ripped off there a little bit but uh i bought this brand new in the box for 140 pounds so that's about 170 bucks for a brand new victor jr 302 intake which is a screaming deal and it's even kind of crazier if you look i get this thing folded down there's a lot date i don't know if you can see it of uh the 10th or the 19th of october 2021 so this intake is 13 years old still new in the box so uh if this repair doesn't go well <laughs> pete's got a good alternate backup here uh, to buy off me if it doesn't go well not like i'm trying to make any money off them i kind of did buy this because it was uh, you know a very good deal for myself i don't know when i'm going to use it but it's always good to have you know when you get a good deal stick it aside for a rainy day but uh hopefully that rainy day won't be this soon but i will get this done going for pete and may get you in a little time lapse because it's, it's going to make a mess this is going to be uh throwing chips everywhere and i got too much crap all over the place I gotta get this these dirty jobs out of here. So, uh, all right, uh, and uh, off to the grinder we go.
All right, guys, welcome back. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't get any of the the inner mingling of, uh, of me welding on this, but this was a painfully long endeavor to get this even to this state where it's at now. So, welding on it, welding on it, and if you've ever done cast aluminum welding, you know it's it's fraught with uh, with pain. Cause usually you'll see people like they'll be fixing like cracked off corners of intake or stripped out threads or something like that but this was something that's probably you know super veteran league and a lot of people wouldn't even touch the repair because what's going on is you have all the contamination of an already porous uh, metal from being right next to the cooling jacket and I'm welding on this and so much crud is coming to the surface and contaminating the weld and I'm cleaning it out and I'm welding more, letting it, all the contaminants rise to the top and I'm cleaning it off, building it up, grinding it down, building it up, grinding it down. And it just was taking forever. I was getting frustrated. And uh, to top it all off, I had a pair of a needle nose pliers that I've had for a long time. And this is a, <laughs> it's a casualty of uh, me trying to fix this intake. So I just it was welding. I was keeping the, the, the heat in the aluminum because this thing's wicking heat out like crazy. And I grabbed the first thing that came to my hand. And all I wanted to do was go like, whoosh, kind of like you're, if you're doing lead work and you just kind of push some of the lead out of the way or solder out of the way. And the tip of this <laughs> needle has caught the arc and it melted it off instantly. This is like my one of my favorite pairs of uh, long handled needle nose pliers. And I don't even know where I got them. There's not even a mark on them to be replace them, so uh, <laughs> I got to come up with something to to replace those. So, but that I did that and I just stopped. I just I called it a day, went inside and just chilled now, until now it's Saturday. I got back in here to try to to fix things up again, and uh, yeah, I don't know how it's gonna go. Cleaned it up, got my big tap, tapped it out it's pretty okay in there and uh, eh, it's not pretty but I don't know if it's gonna crack again or not but we'll have to see cuz uh, there's not a lot of options I mean this is a $440 intake manifold to have to replace it so you gotta try I mean all I can think of is if this doesn't work We'll have to grind the whole boss down to nothing and then build it all back up again and try to retap it and you know <laughs> or even weld it completely shut and then do something different for the cooling tubes this would just be like a drag race only type of intake but <laughs> it's we got to try it and see i don't know if it's going to work or not but uh you know it's a gamble if, if it lasts two seasons i think that'll be good for as much as pete's going to drive it but we'll have to put it on, fire it up and see, and hopefully we won't be wasting our time. But uh, had his old uh, thermostat housing here. I don't know if I can, you can see there's a hole in the side. Let me hold it up to the light. Uh, you can see the hole in it there. So had another thermostat housing, blasted it and painted it up for Pete. Give that to him. His old thermostat was a 195. I was surprised. I thought we had a 180 in there. So I you know, I got a couple thermostats and things like that. Uh, so I snagged an old 180 that I knew was still good. Put that in his car. New gasket. So I got to put these fittings back in it. And hopefully this Wednesday evening we'll get back on it. Got the intake manifold gaskets. Yeah, I really like these Comedic gaskets. Started using them and they've been really great because they don't... Uh, blast out around the the, the ports kind of like the the felpro ones do the printo seals yeah those ones are the felpro printo seals are garbage in for intake manifolds gaskets anyway in my opinion so uh but there it is wrapped up and done i don't know what this video is going to look like but i'll get it uh i'll get it put up and then i'll get on to some of the other projects got around here so i'll catch you guys soon in the next video